Hey guys, it's Uncle Doug. Uh, sorry, car going by. We're uh, out here today on the deck at uh, one of the ministry houses, and I'm uh, going to tell you about the Kratke method of aquaponics. We're uh, planting uh, lots of different stuff on the farm. I got a car going by here in a minute, but right now, uh, look, look who it is. Uh, We've been, uh, I germinated a whole bunch of different stuff. And uh, you take the seeds, you put them in a wet paper towel, put them in a Ziploc bag, and uh, five to eight days later, they root and germinate. And then we use uh, coconut core, um, this stuff, coconut core, um, is... Uh, is a good medium because it's neutral. It uh, is cheap. You don't risk, uh, it's organic. You don't risk uh, other seeds and whatever like you would in dirt. And so you pack these little trays with the coconut core, plant the little uh, germinators, and uh, put them in the sunshine, give them a little water. So this has a solid tray under a slotted tray, and you just have a little water where the it can keep the coconut core wet. Put them in the sunshine, and a week later you got these. Um, some of these are doing better than others. This is, um, these are mostly tomatoes. These are mostly tomatoes. Okra, the yellow squash is going good, but I think only maybe three of them took. Um, these are, what are those? Sunflowers. Um, these are peppers. Uh, sweet banana peppers, and there's some other little things coming up in there. That one is mostly lettuces, um, spices, chives, cilantro, and other stuff over there. Um, and that one's got some habaneros and some other little peppers in that one as well. So a variety of peppers and, and tomatoes over there. Anyway, uh, today we're about ready. Some of them, like the squashes and the okra over here, are getting big enough uh, and maybe um, those over there that they need to go in buckets so we've got a whole bunch of these two gallon buckets that we got they had icing in them at the bakery at the grocery store and um, we've had them a long time they've just been sitting in the cave um, the grocery store we go to now doesn't give us buckets or I guess every time we ask they don't have any uh, but what you do is you get these little net cups this is a three inch one this is a two inch one for the smaller plants like the lettuces that don't need as much roots. And uh, the Kratke method, KR, where's my paper here? Here's, a, I made some notes here. Um, Kratke is K R A T K Y. He is a doctorate of agriculture, I believe, uh, in Hawaii. Um, and he, a few years ago, came up with a method to do to raise stuff in buckets without ever having to water it, without needing dirt, and it using exactly the amount of water that was necessary to grow that plant. So, for example, a um, head of lettuce requires one gallon. So what we're doing on uh, some of these, I took a hole saw and I drilled two holes. We'll put a net cup on each one. It's a two gallon bucket. There's a mixture of the nutrients that you add. And uh, he's got right here, uh, you can order them on Amazon or whatever, master blend for a two gallon bucket. It's right in between because I didn't do, <laughs> I did one, three, and five because I didn't know I had two gallon buckets so I went to look at them. But uh, we actually had to, it, it says pounds on the bucket of icing. So we had to actually pour two gallons of water to figure out that that's a two gallon bucket with a little bit of top at the top but anyway so two gallons will be right in between these so i had four grams of master blend four grams of calcium citrate calcium nitrate rather and two grams of epsom salts and then i have to convert grams to tablespoons and uh i got that uh, measure down here um and you add uh you mix some in a, in a little glass of water so it's dissolved and then you add it to the two gallon bucket and you want the water to be about halfway up the net cup and then what happens is the plant needs oxygen and it needs water 
but as the uh, as it uses up the water, there's more and more oxygen in the bucket, and the roots actually put out little oxygen roots that suck the oxygen out of the bucket, so you don't need uh, bubblers, you don't need anything. Uh, if it has its nutrition, you put it in the sunshine, and off you go. So we're going to keep you up to date on how these go. We'll have some out on the porches of the houses, we'll have some at the greenhouse, we'll have some with bubblers just to see if a circulating method does better. And, um, and then we'll have stuff in the ground as well to, uh, to see how it does uh, differently. But there's no weeding, there's no watering, there's no nothing. Set it and forget it is a pretty cool way to grow stuff. So I am going to prep as many of these buckets as I can. And we're going to pack the coconut core down in the net cups and then put the okra, the squash, the lettuces, whatever in the net cups, get them in the buckets label the buckets and then we're just going to have a row of buckets here in the sunshine i have some tree cover but i get pretty good uh pretty good light um most of the day here on the deck uh last year i took a gutter that's a regular steel gutter and uh, hung it on the fence and and put some uh, dirt in there and planted uh, flowers and stuff but haven't done haven't planted yet this year there is one still growing right there somewhere from last year Anyway, uh, so that's the Kratky method of, of uh, hydroponics, uh, non-circulating, easy, set it and forget it, piece of cake. So we're going to try that out. It is really great for really dry environments where it's uh, water is at a premium because it just uses the exact amount that you're going to need. Sorry, I'll point it this way. It uses the exact amount of water that that plant's going to need, so there's no loss to... Uh, irrigation and loss in the dirt and feeding the weeds and other stuff but i think i'm about done because they're weed eating over there but we'll update you here in a minute when uh I've, I've got these filled out thanks bye okay hey guys uh we got about uh, a dozen buckets packed here we've got uh bell pepper and lettuce spinach okra Spinach, bell pepper, squash, bell pepper, parsley, and romaine lettuce. And we've still got lots of stuff in the trays. I ran out of buckets. We've got to bring more from the farm. Now I'm losing the light because if I sit on the porch, people come talk to me. But uh, we still got a whole tray of, I think those are all peppers. And um, this one is mostly lettuces and tomatoes. And that one's, I think, is tomatoes. Most all tomatoes there, and then squash and okra. Anyway, uh, we're going to plant some with the cracky method. We're going to do some in uh, uh, aeroponics, hydroponics. We're going to do aquaponics, uh, all kind of different things, and uh, some of them are going to fail. And uh, that's the whole point: is to learn what works the best. And for that, you got to try stuff, and you find out. Well, we can't do a watermelon out of a one gallon bucket or whatever but um we're trying to get skills and learn what we can and can't do uh this method is terrific if you're in a water shortage situation because it only uses the amount of water necessary for the life of that plant there's no irrigation loss there's no uh there's no loss to uh you know evaporation or anything else it's, it's so in a lot of places desert places it would be a really great way to do it Anyway, I'm going to upload this, and uh, we'll give you some more farm updates as we go along. We've got to cover the new greenhouse and uh, some other stuff. We've got a lot of stuff in the can, working on a cabin and other things. We're going to show you later. Anyway, lots more coming. Bye-bye.